Conrad B. Duberstein, United States Bankruptcy Courthouse, Brooklyn, New York. In the submissions, there were lots of large courthouses, both historic and modern. What captured the jury's interest was the scale of the building and its materiality related to it. The original post office, which is the most historic part of the building complex, is typical for a post office of that in the late 19th century and probably referred to as Richardsonian Romanesque with its stone, granite, appearance, solid presence. And that presence was duplicated in the 1930s using terracotta. The challenges that terracotta historically present is its relatively unpredictability in terms of performance. One of the parts that was sort of a subtlety in this process is that what everybody thinks is a material that is visual homogeneous, that means every block looks the same. In reality, on close inspection, has actually tonal values. And in the fabrication of new terracotta, the tonal values were recognized so that the sophisticated modeled appearance of the original building was recreated to the same extent. I believe it caught the jury's attention because the size, the scale, it's probably the largest terracotta job in America in the last 40 years, but also because of the relative sophistication by which the process and materiality was being implemented and duplicated.